I think it's the afternoon right now, but um, this was really just put on my heart. I was actually traveling and I also need to go to the restroom. So yes, I am in the office of all offices, which is the restroom. And so this title stood out to me, like it popped up in my mind frame because of all the things that have been going on. I'm only gonna mention a few of these things today here in this very short video, but it says, stepping into God's timing, like what? What does that mean? Well, this week has been a phenomenal week, along with the tail end of last week. We won't go into all the spiritual warfare attacks that occurred before all of this and the revelations that I received, specifically yesterday, the day before, and then finally today. But what I do want to talk about is that um, I have been having these visions and I've been having a lot of dreams and um, open eye visions. And it's really strange, but um, these synchronicities, um, visual dreams, like one of them, like um, yesterday, I was kind of taken aback because I had a very strong vision the night before, but it was at nighttime. And so it took me a while when I was like there in the morning time to kind of grasp that these were two separate, um, there's a lot of noise because the train's going by, but uh, times of day. Um, but I had a vision where I was at um, a place that I hadn't been in probably about 15 or so years. And um, the woman that, uh, I don't think she's um, here any longer, but her name was, was Judith, and she ran a business called The Eye of the Cat. And this is right around the time um, when I had met my ex-wife at the time, and Judith had given me a warning that I would meet a woman or maybe two women that would completely try to destroy my life. And so I did actually experience that, um, you know, like with the financial abuse, et cetera, et cetera. So fast forward, my friend who comes visiting from New York, which I've been thinking about New York for probably about the last couple of months, um, because um, I don't know if she knows this, but I've always wanted to go to New York. Like I've always wanted to, um, go and visit and, and maybe live there and so most of my life like when I was growing up like you know especially in my early um, 20s and my teens people would always um, think that I was from the East Coast um, specifically from New York because they were like her energy so anyway she's in town right now we had a wonderful time and she was telling me a little bit about some of the things that were going on uh, behind the scenes in her life and so she um, suggested or asked actually she didn't suggest she straight up asked she said hey you wouldn't mind going to the eye of the cat and i was like oh, no because like even though i am a believer i god will use anything so i was like no not at all but what's funny i, I don't think i told you guys this. so when i got off the scooter when i was going to go meet up with her actually i, I took a lift actually and I, I passed by there i was actually looking for signs of a fire because in the vision the eye of the cat had been burned like you know there was like a fire internally and like they have black cats in there so the cat was at the window and i saw in the vision like the fire department coming out and i've also had like this whole thing with 9 11 and all the fire trucks and all that so i was going by and i was looking for signs of that did not see that so when we walked up to the eye of the cat um it was wild because there was no evidence of a fire there's gonna be some smokes really noise on the side and um also um there were no cats and it kind of seemed empty but it wasn't they happened to be closed on monday so um this has something to do with uh death and rebirth um well, fires like they are like a purification system like symbolically so this is also really crazy too so how's that work today and i was thinking about um like i like last week because like usually like god will like show like a hawk like flying over like cooper's hawk red tail hawk so my co-worker remembered that i enjoy birds and so she's like look and i was giving a woman some guidance and direction and um up high on one of the uh, light poles there was a cooper's hawk and his back was turned to us. And so I had actually gone to check on the doves because there was a dove nest up there, but the, she's done what she needs to do. So the babies are grown, she's flown away. Um, if you guys have any comments about like what the significance of that is, like what you would get from that. And so then 
to tie all of this all together, um, the number 707 has been popping up a lot. And so I looked at the Strong's uh, Concordance and I found out that the number seven has to do with weaver, or weaving. So all of these things all tie together. Another train. I had to get this message out. Okay, and so um, I've also been seeing um, the color purple a lot too, just like purple, like a purple blob in like my like direct vision, uh, line of vision. But um, so um, there's also, like September just closed and um, there's a new cycle beginning in terms of like interpersonal relationships as well. So if you are aligned with um, like recognizing, like seeing things, like having visions and then like seeing them pop up and like come to pass like that is very prophetic because true prophecy like always comes to pass like sometimes it's like right now and like the time is like that and then i also saw chronos like yesterday that's the other thing too chronos means time and so god was talking about like something swift like just like swiftly occurring and so like a lot of these prophecies most of them actually the night before bam the next day fulfilled so it's like rapid 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 some of us have these gifts to be able to do that and so um i asked god this morning i didn't ask him today if i could be of service to anybody because like i didn't feel in my heart because i've been doing a lot of that but i've been asking him um for uh different types of guidance in terms of like you know the people that are and aren't supposed to be in my life and um he's been doing his magic god always stays faithful so I ain't got a lot of clutter in my life, um, so he's been telling me, you know, like this has been put on my heart to like stay the course and, you know, everything that I, I had set my standards really low back in the past, I've already come to pass, so all my prayers have been answered, like when I saw what I saw 10 years ago, 5 year, years ago, 3 years ago, God always came through, so I'm seeing marriages for some people i'm seeing financial um growth for some people um and i'm saying this because like really there's a lot of things that are shifting like in the spiritual realm um a lot of these people who have gotten away with things like even in your personal life like everything's being exposed like what has happened in the dark is literally coming to light so just remember this you're stopping and like old cycles and you're stepping into god's timing like what it's been Shay all day at Shay BC Sun.